I'm talking to Marguerite Watson about her quilt art. And Marguerite, I'd like to know uh, something about the way in which you blend colours and how you choose colours and how you choose whether to make subtle or more distinct colour transitions. Well, let's say I think what I do uh, is when I pick a theme of some sort, the colors themselves start suggesting how to use them. For example, I was doing a quilt with uh, lemons, limes, cantaloupes, and those colors could go from green to yellow to pink to green to yellow. They could move all over the place. Other times I like to make uh, the changes a lot more subtle and in that case they blend but not too much but they have to be dynamic. It's when you put things next to each other usually um, when you have pieces of fabric they if you want to move from one uh, theme to another you need to have something in between that's, that goes between them but sometimes you don't. Sometimes um, you make more of a break. So there's, it's always a story that's happening. Uh, the color keeps telling you what to do, what, what would look good. And what I do is I step back from working with the colors and I look at them and decide if, if that's pleasing and then I can move close and um, change them around a bit or keep, keep moving them I never quite know where I'm going to wind up, and that, that is actually the great fun of the whole thing.